Bang. Ah, everyone is sprinting. I could see fear in the eyes as they, the terrorists get close to the frightened people. They will search the boats and they all leave the bank. I jump on the terrorists and start shooting at us. As the boat goes down and people start to sink, ours gets hit and I yell out, Boat down as I knock my head and go unconscious. I woke up on a boat that had terrorists pointing a gun at me. I woke up a bit more and I, and I start to see a flag. It was the Australian Army, but I looked over at Lynn. I could see a detention centre. My worst nightmare came true. I slowly step onto the island as everyone starts to stare at me like I'm raw meat in the wild. They take me to my house and all the people follow me there. The guards leave me and the other people start crowding me like I was different. A man comes out of the crowd and picks me up and says, Do you want to escape? In a deep voice. He takes me to his house and already has a plan all set out for escaping the detention centre. Guards are all packed outside. I said to him, I had no interest. I walked back to my house and all the guards swarm into his house. I sprint to my house and I saw all the equipment come out of the house to escape the detention centre. The soldiers come out to my house and they both stare at me like I'm a tiger in a cage. They both take me out and walk me to the boat and put me on and said, that I'm going to Australia. I walk past the people trying to escape and they give me a furious look when I walk past them. I can't believe that I made it to Australia. Now I can start a new life again. Five years later, I was free and alive from any trouble. And I had a job and a perfect life. And I decided to start a business for helping refugees and people in a detention center.